if I believe the Spirit is Lord in the earth, I'm believing something that other people don't believe, and therefore I can go to the place that that belief takes me. It's a higher class of being. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying the words. Is My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank Jesus you for joining us. Right. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Ghost if this isn't God your first time here and these messages today. are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I'm going to talk about the Holy Ghost. You came to hear about God, so I'm going to tell you about him. He is God in the earth today. Well, some people will hear my words and get caught up. Caught up into the things that they've never known before. And it'll be new and unique to them because they've never been there before. But these words will take them in. You know, some people will tell me to back off, but I'm not backing off. We're just getting started. I know how to get from one place to the next. I know how to get from one level of glory to the next and it is by words you need to hear something you haven't heard before if you're going to go to a place you've never been before and I'm gonna tell you some things you've probably never heard before but they will go into you and if you will allow them they will take you there say take me there, take me there. others who don't hear they're not going there in fact they can't go to where I'm talking about tonight I'm speaking spirit words to spirit people yes. and he that has an ear to hear let him hear what the Spirit is saying mm -hmm. now if the Spirit is saying what are those spirit words mm -hmm. and if you can hear it you can have it would it be good to have ears to hear yes. mm -hmm. yeah Luke chapter 4 who glory be to God now this was right after Jesus was baptized in water by by John the prophet John the Baptist right mm -hmm. baptized in water and he came out of the water and the Spirit of God came on him right yes so the Spirit of God came on Jesus say the Spirit of God, Spirit of God. came on Jesus came on Jesus. did Jesus come on Jesus no <laughs> this will matter as we get going on here the Spirit of God came on Jesus as a person right Luke chapter 4 verse 1 and Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness Jesus was led by the Spirit so the Holy Ghost came on him we know that was the Spirit right? right and the Holy Ghost came on him and then Jesus was led by the Spirit and if Jesus is being led by the Spirit who was Jesus following Spirit. the Spirit the Spirit was leading him therefore Jesus was following the Spirit is this too difficult no. so who was Jesus led by Spirit. the Spirit the Holy Ghost the person of the Holy Ghost was leading Jesus yes. and Jesus was following the person of the Holy Ghost right? right so Jesus was following the Holy Ghost and if the Holy Ghost was leading Jesus was Jesus obeying the leading of the Holy Ghost yes. Yes. so he was following the Holy he was obeying the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost said go here Jesus went there yeah. and later on we'll see the Holy Ghost said this and Jesus would say that he was obeying he was following the Holy Ghost right let's look down to verse 14 and Jesus returned in the power of Jesus wait no Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit so he was obeying the Spirit he was following the Spirit he was being led by the Spirit and then he returned in the power of the Spirit so Jesus returned in his own power no. is that what it said no. well then stop believing that so whose power was Jesus doing things in and by 
the Holy Ghost, the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. I'm reading the Bible. Yes. He yes. returned in the power, mm -hmm. so he was under the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. You have a problem with this? Yeah. Are you seeing what's happening here? Mm -hmm. Verse 18 the spirit of the lord is upon me because he say he, he. is the spirit of the lord a he yes according to your bible the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach so who anointed jesus to preach the, holy ghost. the spirit of the lord and that's literally translated the spirit lord the Spirit Lord anointed Jesus to preach. What is preaching? Saying words, speaking words that he wants you to say. Yes. So Jesus began speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost. He was led by the Spirit. He was following the Spirit. He was obeying the Spirit. Mm -hmm. He was under the power of the Spirit. And then he said, say, Jesus said, the spirit lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel he hath sent me who sent jesus the holy ghost sent jesus jesus was a sent one by the holy ghost the spirit lord did jesus obey this sending this calling yes, yes. yes jesus was obedient so jesus was sent by under the power of and obeying the spirit lord who was the holy ghost mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. jesus called him lord mm -hmm. who did jesus call lord the holy ghost and he and he not only called him that he demonstrated that the holy ghost was his lord yes now this is, sounds very strange to people's ears but jesus said it right there you've been reading this all these years and missed it mm -hmm. jesus called the holy ghost lord the spirit lord mm -hmm. jesus called the spirit lord who did jesus call lord the spirit, the, spirit. the holy ghost is this right yes, yes. Are you still here i'm gonna i'm gonna take this a little farther so we saw jesus being called by the holy ghost and calling the holy ghost lord and we're going to talk about peter here for a second is that all right yep. acts chapter 10 verse 9 on the morrow as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city peter went up upon the housetop to pray and he became very hungry and would have eaten but while they made ready he fell into a trance verse 13 and there came a voice to him rise peter kill and eat but peter said not so what lord. not so lord for i have never eaten anything that is common or unclean and the voice spake unto him again the second time what god has cleansed that call not thou common verse 19 while peter thought on the vision the what spirit. the spirit said unto him behold three men seek thee verse 20 arise therefore and get thee down and go with them doubting nothing for i have sent them who sent them the spirit sent them the holy ghost mm -hmm. so the holy ghost was the one directing this mm -hmm. right yes. and back up in verse 14 when he said not so lord peter was calling the spirit lord yes. are you here mm -hmm. and the spirit said i have sent them mm -hmm. acts chapter 13 verse 1 now there was in the church that was at antioch certain prophets and teachers as barnabas and simeon that was called niger and Lucius of Cyrene, a Manian, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. Verse 2 As they ministered to the Lord, say the Lord, the Lord. and fasted, the Holy Ghost said, mm -hmm. Separate me, 
barnabas and saul for the work whereunto i have called them yes. who said me and i the holy ghost yes. who said to separate barnabas and saul for the work whereunto he had called them the holy ghost yes. who separated and called jesus the holy ghost mm -hmm. jesus called him lord here it says as they ministered to the lord and fasted the holy ghost said as you minister to the Lord the Holy Ghost minister also could be worship it's actually translated worship in many other translations mm -hmm. as they worshiped the Lord and fasted the Holy Ghost said as you worship the Lord the Holy Ghost is the Holy Ghost is gonna say things to you well as they ministered to the Lord the Holy Ghost said me and I verse 4 so they being sent forth by the holy, the holy ghost who sent them forth the holy, the holy ghost. ghost who called them the holy ghost so who called and sent barnabas and saul the holy ghost, the holy ghost. who called and sent jesus the holy ghost, the holy ghost. you're seeing a pattern here yes. the holy ghost is god in the earth today he's the lord god in the earth today he is the spirit lord he's in the earth today this message makes him happy might not make you happy but this message makes him happy finally somebody's talking about him in the right context everybody has the context wrong first corinthians chapter 12 verse 1 now concerning spiritual gifts or things pertaining to the spirit mm -hmm. brethren i would not have you ignorant now if we're talking about things pertaining to the spirit we're talking about things pertaining to the holy ghost yes. or the things of the holy ghost and he said i would not have you ignorant now remember we're talking about context of the holy ghost who called jesus holy ghost who called paul and barnabas holy ghost who was leading paul and barnabas holy ghost verse 4 now there are diversities of gifts but the same spirit what spirit would that be holy, holy ghost. ghost holy spirit there are differences of administrations and that word administrations is translated in many bibles ministries mm -hmm. there are differences of administrations or ministries but the same what Lord. Lord Paul and Barnabas anointed called and set forth in the ministry by the Holy Ghost right there are differences of ministries but the same Lord who's the same Lord Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost in the context of this I would not have you ignorant of the spirit lord yes. who has different gifts and different ministries let's read on here verse six and there are diversities of operations they operate differently mm -hmm. but it is the same god which works all in all who do you suppose that god is holy ghost. the holy ghost who's god in the earth today mm -hmm. and i can prove it just go down to verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit mm -hmm. dividing to every man severally as he wills who's doing it all of these are being worked by that holy ghost i would not have you ignorant same spirit same lord same god all of these things are pertaining to the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and all of these work if that one the problem is you're ignorant of how he wills to do things mm -hmm. but once you get rid of that ignorance which is what we've been talking about I would not have you ignorant of how he wills to do things well, we aren't ignorant of it but most people are have you found that out yet so he wills to do all of these wonderful things when you're speaking in agreement with him what if you're not speaking in agreement that he is now the spirit lord mm -hmm. how far are you going to get not very far 
is it okay to speak in line with what the scriptures say about the Holy Ghost yes. if you want the Holy Ghost involved in your life and the things that you're doing you're going to have to be, get better at speaking in line with him because that's how he wills to do it yes. second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now the Lord is that spirit when is now 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 until Jesus returns now the Lord is that spirit if you want the Holy Ghost to do things for you mm -hmm. you have to say now the Lord is that spirit you start to get this yes. saying what saying now the Lord is that spirit yes. this question must be answered by you now the Lord is put a question mark in there now the Lord is that spirit he's not referring to jesus here jesus never turned into the spirit the spirit never turned into jesus people think this is what happened it's not what happened at all jesus said he would go away and send not himself but another that he the spirit would abide with you what day are we in we're in the day when the spirit has come and is abiding with us so now the lord is that spirit or the spirit lord is jesus is lord in the way that he is lord mm -hmm. but jesus is not lord in the way the holy ghost is now lord in the earth yes. are you getting this yes. that one statement statement there will get you kicked out of a lot of churches I didn't say that Jesus isn't Lord I said Jesus is Lord in the way that he is Lord but he never turned into the Holy Ghost and so the Holy Ghost is Lord in the way that Jesus can't be Lord right now yes. I'm gonna read out of the Bible now the Lord is that spirit not Jesus no. now I say the Lord is that spirit mm -hmm. are you here yes. I'm helping you out mm -hmm. say now I say, now I say the, Lord the Lord is that spirit, that spirit. now I'm saying it mm -hmm. he's the spirit Lord now the Lord is that spirit and where the sport spirit of the Lord is or where the spirit is Lord there is Liberty mm -hmm. and like I've said so many times a kind of Liberty obviously that you can't have if the spirit is not Lord Paul and Barnabas didn't have that Liberty and until the Spirit was Lord and set them in the ministry mm -hmm. Jesus didn't have the Liberty that he had to do all the works that he did if the Spirit wasn't Lord and he didn't say the Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me he has sent me are you here yes. that gave Jesus a Liberty to do things and live in the earth in a way in a capacity that he could not do it if the Spirit wasn't Lord so you got to get this question straight now the Lord is that spirit when I say Lord you say spirit when I say Lord you say spirit Lord spirit. Lord spirit. A little goofy but you get what I'm saying and we know that here it's like a knee-jerk reaction I say uh, what I'll ask any question any question whatsoever and the immediate answer is Holy Ghost yes. you right uh -huh. why because he's Lord yeah. He's God in the earth today. Jesus never turned into the Holy Ghost. Never was the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost came on Jesus when he was here. And then when Jesus left, he sent the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost never turned into Jesus. No. Now the Lord is that spirit. <laughs> where? Now where? now where the place is where now where the Lord is where not heaven we're not talking about heaven we're talking about here Jesus is in heaven right now where the Lord is that spirit are you getting this the spirit 
is Lord there that place that place is here that place is here on earth now where the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there are you here yes. should I just run around the room <laughs> there is Liberty where's the there here there's a Liberty where the Spirit is Lord I hope I'm getting this crossed there's a Liberty where the Spirit is Lord where the Spirit isn't Lord there's not that Liberty and that Liberty is translated freedom its ability it's a way to live that you could not have or do or live if the Spirit wasn't Lord get mad at me if you want but that's what the scripture is saying there's a Liberty of belief that you receive which enables you to go higher from one glory to the next when you have that belief in the Lord who is that spirit yes. is this making sense mm -hmm. and he goes on to say that now where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord that same Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Lord who is that spirit yes. how do we go from glory to glory by beholding him by being changed by him and none of that happens if he isn't the spirit Lord so there is a freedom in knowing the Holy Ghost as the spirit Lord a type of freedom you can't have a type of glory that you can't go to if he isn't that and he isn't that on your lips you have to answer the question now the Lord is that spirit are you here yes. there's a freedom in knowing the Holy Ghost as Lord God that freedom is that he teaches you all things he shows you things to come mm -hmm. who does the Spirit Lord he gives you richly all things to enjoy yes. liberties that come from knowing him as the Spirit Lord but not so if not so if not Lord then not so if not Lord God in the earth today then you can't go to this Liberty that I'm talking about right. you enter into a new class of being I'm telling you when you start to worship the Holy Ghost as God you enter into a new class of belief a new class of living a new class of being you're being something that you weren't before you're being in a liberty and a freedom that you couldn't access before you've been changed from one glory to another glory and once you're in that another glory you look back at the old glory and it's not even glorious to you anymore you hear people that talk and speak on that other level and it's like oh stop it I don't want to hear that anymore it annoys you those who live here listen those who live here in this new higher level of being with the spirit lord are you here are a higher class of believer well i don't want to believe it that way i'm just telling you the way it is you're a higher class of believer i've been on that lower class it doesn't mean we look down our noses we try to help people up you understand just because you're in a higher class doesn't mean you have to look down your nose at people but we're called to go from glory to glory how by the Spirit Lord mm -hmm. by the Lord being that spirit yes. are we supposed to just rip that out of the Bible or are we supposed to believe it and go there mm -hmm. well if you go there a lot of people that aren't going there won't like it mm -hmm. <sighs> those who live here they live here are a new class of being they are being a different class and they're a new class of being with a new glory 
a higher class of believer they can believe something that other people can't mm -hmm. if i believe the spirit is lord in the earth i'm believing something that other people don't believe and therefore i can go to the place that that belief takes me yes it's a higher class of being now you might not want to understand what I'm, I'm saying yet I'm gonna take you to the scripture that that helps clarify that but in the only is everything Luke chapter 4 verse 8 it is written thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him what only, only shalt thou serve who said this Jesus said thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve we just read that Jesus was serving and following the Lord God the Holy Ghost right yes. saying what he told him to say he was called by the Holy Ghost following the Holy Ghost under the power of the Holy Ghost he was serving the Holy Ghost yes thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve was Jesus only serving the Holy Ghost had to be because that's exactly what he said thou shalt do this well if he's serving the Holy Ghost who of necessity must that mean he's supposed to worship the same one thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve Jesus called him Lord mm -hmm. and he served him and therefore we're supposed to worship him mm -hmm. thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only say only, only. shalt thou serve who's the Lord God in the earth today Holy who are you supposed to serve oh, who are you supposed to worship Holy see again it's the same thing I asked the question that the answer comes out Holy Ghost we worship the Holy Ghost and serve the Holy Ghost only does it say only again am I ready to rip no don't do it if this is the Lord God you're serving then it must be the same Lord God that you're worshiping if you're going to fulfill that verse of Scripture and I maintain the word only means if we do that if we fill fulfilled that verse of Scripture I worship the Lord my God and him only only serve him then everything that I need must be in that only mm -hmm. so when I say in the only is everything yes. I'm serving him I'm worshiping him he's God in the earth today so in worshiping and serving him must be all things in the only is everything the Holy Ghost will make you rich I'll say it again the Holy Ghost will make you rich if you learn how to walk with him and serve him but you must follow him and serve him by saying and part of the saying is worshiping him now the Lord is that spirit if you knew him as God you would worship him so you walk with him as Lord God in the earth he is wealth he is healing and health he is youth renewal when you're walking with him these are things that just will come to you say it'll come to me, come to me. from him now the lord is that spirit and that is a freedom that we're changed from glory to glory and walking in mm -hmm. and amos chapter 3 3 says how can two walk together unless they be agreed be agreed literally means to say the same thing when you learn how to say the same thing that the Holy Ghost has said and is saying you will be walking with him and you will be changed from one glory to the next specifically into that thing you've been saying if you're in agreement with him that's how we walk with God and only one verse of Scripture is necessary one verse of Scripture 
will completely change your life because you will have gotten it moving say one scripture. one scripture pick a scripture if you need healing find a scripture that promises you healing he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions if you need a prosperity scripture the blessing of the lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it or if you need a really good just a plain good all-around scripture the living god gives me richly all things to enjoy because i enjoy healing I enjoy prosperity I enjoy my new youth being renewed and there's plenty of other promises but once one scripture say one scripture. one scripture one scripture is enough to change your life because you can enter from where you are by beholding him in that verse and go up another level of glory let me say it this way their spiritual socio-economic position will change you will go from one place to the next and you become a different being you are being different are you here yes. can you hear that mm -hmm. thank you holy ghost i pray for these people that they have heard the word of the lord tonight it has gone into them and begun a change in them that shall not reverse they're beginning to let go of old traditional thinking that held them back and beginning to embrace you as the spirit lord god in the earth today and as we walk with you we shall go higher and higher into greater and greater classes of being and we will please you in everything fulfilling every one of these verses of scripture before this is over we will end up owning it all and we give you the glory and praise in jesus name amen, amen. If you have a tithe or offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are god in the earth today i call you the spirit lord you are lord over my finances and you are a god of wealth i thank you that i'm entering into a new glory a new level a new place of being a wealthy person i give you the glory and praise in Jesus' name, amen. The Father is in heaven, Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today.